This is Bunny Party at Maple Valley. This is from Evans Games. And talking about Evans Games, we actually had Evan join us last night on stream with Chris, where we streamed their current game that is on Kickstarter. <laughs> Chelsea says she needs an excuse for more dice. Of course, we always need an excuse. Yes, the art for Bunny Party. So yeah, I'm going to be pull, busting this out, looking at it. But since we had a little bit of issues on stream last night, uh, when Evan did join us for uh, the big pig game that is on Kickstarter, I'm going to talk about it now. Uh, give you all the link for it. And then hopefully y'all can go check it out as well. Uh, of course, Chelsea played with us, so she knows how much fun this can be. Um, the Big Pig game was a co-op style game where you're you're playing as pets or animals at the household in a household, and your your parents or the owners of the household are away driving back home. You only have so many around to attempt to eat all the food that was left out on the counter, from savory to spicy to sweet and healthy, and just collectively you're trying to gobble it all up. Use the cards you have to either uh, what was it? What was the term? Munch. Well, hello, Teradice Games. Welcome, welcome. How are you? T how are you this week? Uh, it's been a little while since we've had you on stream, or at least uh, got to play games together. Uh, so, welcome. We're about to start with our first unboxing game. is Bunny Party at Maple Valley. We were talking about Evan's games and having Evan join us last night to show off the Big Pig game which you can also find on TTS right now if you want to play before you help back up. But Evan was a joy to have on stream with us and showing off the game. Oh, I had a blast at Origins. Um, we did miss you having, uh, miss being able to have you there join us and play games, of course. Um, hopefully you, makes it, you all make it to PAX Unplugged because I know we're all planning to go and do another meetup and do more media stuff there. So we need to kind of wrap y'all into our media team and just do even more together. So I'm going to switch screens, um, put it over here so I can show it off a little bit better. And then we'll do details over on this other one. So I do need to open it. So bunny party at Maple Valley uh, from Evans games it says it's a three to four bunny, uh, AKA player game. Uh, that plays in about 20 minutes for eight for bunnies eight and up. Oh, oh, that's great that you'll be at PAX. And yes, we do need to gain that time. If I don't make it up to New York to hang out with y'all and play some weekend anyway, like we talked about. So bunny party at Maple Valley. You know what? We can probably get a little bit closer with this one too. That looks better. Oh, and Chuck says hi. Well, thank you, Chelsea, for letting me know. And I say hi to Chuck back. And tell Chuck I'm sorry for, for Wednesday night and that that last-minute double tiebreaker win. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't believe you, Chelsea, when you said I would probably still win that game. Okay. Uh, back to Bunny Party in Maple Valley. Uh Apparently it has a travel guide. Begin your fun adventure in a friendly village with some of these uh, hit attractions and restaurants. Lots of fun, especially great food. Thank you for choosing to visit Maple Valley. Uh, Daily Hoot, a night sky party. So it kind of gives a little intro and talks about the town of Maple Valley. Uh, oh, it gives you a recipe for carrot muffins. So we, we should probably show this to... Uh, Daniel board game feast and uh, he would probably make these muffins if we don't make them ourselves so that's something let's see who's the first to make them and then you got a little map of the maple valley on the back of this kind of just a, a fun little pamphlet that they added in and then we got our rule book and it looks like right on the top they also have a link to a website where you can uh, watch a video how to play uh, with QR code and typed out. So you can easily go watch a video since so many people enjoy watching videos these days to learn how to play a game. 
Now, we did play this game on TTS back when it was on Kickstarter. So it's been a little while since I've played it and looked at all the art. So we're going to enjoy this um, unique art style and fun, fun kind of quirky uh, animals that they've drawn up. Because uh, I know Evan said he and his wife basically uh, designed the game and do the majority of the art for the games they were making. So they're not a huge production uh, uh, team. So it's fun to support these small game designers and producers just like they uh, help us on stream and making the content. So it's a small fold-out rule book. The print is a little small uh, uh, compared to the average rule book, but considering it's a small box game, not too surprising at all. It does go over the componenture and then talks about setup, which when you unfold it, you have the setup here with a full pictorial view of it. So it's it's pretty easy to spot what it's referring to. And that goes over turns. We flip it over and it kind of just walks you through the game itself. And then if you're playing a three player game, it looks like there's a slight rules errata. And then, yeah, because the credit says designed by Evan Gibbs art, uh, and this game was done by Holly, uh, Holly Fowler. Emotional support dog, Scout. Now, if you do check out the Big Pig game that's currently on Kickstarter from Evans Games, Scout is actually one of the characters in the new game. So be sure to check that out as well. Okay, and now we got a couple of small punch boards. Uh, I know I've done this before, but it's always fun to listen to how well these snap. So, let's take a quick listen. I'll pause the music so it doesn't overbear it. This is our quick little, I guess you could call it the, the board game ASMR section. So these don't snap super loud, which is not a huge deal. Typically that means that it's a, a, a smaller tab um, on the, the edge of the part. So it's less likely to tear. Uh, it seems that the larger the tab, the louder the break. And so there's a balance on how loud you kind of want to hear it for ultimate board game ASMR. Uh, as, <laughs> as Teradice has said, but it's also nice not to hear too much because you know it is well cut. So I'll try to punch some of these within camera view now so you can see how easily they're, they're going through. Um, so that one barely caught. And you can see just the tiniest edge tab from that cut, which even a quick finger rub makes it basically disappear. That just shows how nice these are in the punch board design. So that's how did that one barely stick. But it looks like the paper, if anything, the paper is more likely to stick on the back side with the punched part and not tear from the part itself. And that is an easy fix. And the boards go to my box of punched boards. I'd have a full box just of empty punch boards now from punching all year. I'll go back at the end of the year and see just how many games I actually unbox throughout the year. So it looks like it comes with one little baggie gel pack which is trash um, some people like to keep those I don't end up keeping them and then our cards that is a fun little print inside this box right here yeah kind of like the different stuff you can find in the kitchen and whatnot and I know we talk about it um, this does have a quick pull tab on the plastic which is always preferred so you don't have to take a knife to the package. So let's see. Uh, it's probably the face of the cards because they're looking a lot different. So we've got four uh, reference cards, which has always been official and helpful. We always like seeing those in the game. Even small box games, you want reference cards. I'll put those there. Um, let's switch back to our other view so we can read these cards a little bit better, hopefully, on screen for y'all. 
hopefully it's within focus where y'all can read and see all the details we'll be showing off. And I'll show off the tokens we punched too. We got some sleepy tokens. We got a first player token. And then we had some different, all these small ones were basically little wagons full of food, harvest festival style food. Okay, now let's see what different decks of cards we have. So going through it, we have a red back, green back, and then the rest of these are a blue back. So we'll see what they show. I'm gonna start with the two that have different colored backs. Yeah, a good turn order reference card is kind of one of the first things I almost always check for in a game after the rule book. Because you don't want to have to pass the rule book around constantly. Of course, we still do it a lot because I ask the tough questions when gaming of because I push the boundaries and abilities of a game. Uh, Chelsea knows that all too well from our game nights. Okay, so these cards, it says, Happy Neighbor Appreciation Day. Well, Chelsea, you're as close, you're as close to a neighbor as I have in this community right now, so I appreciate you. <laughs> um, so we got uh, Lori, a, a gardener deer. Abigail, a gossip possum. Sky, a weather owl. Matt, our trash raccoon. Of course, the classic trash panda. Kyle, the male bird. Is the male bird a male bird? I'll let you decide. And then Elwood, ice cream elephant. Now, since it's been a while since we've played this game, I don't remember exactly which what these cards do for you. Um, if you select at the beginning of the game, if you're one of these, or if it potentially uh, changes. Because now we have the Maple Valley Residence. And we have Will, who's an astronomer. We have Elaine, the grandma of the valley. Scott. A computer whiz. Uh, Sal, the teacher. Blair, the socialite. Jacques, the artiste. Alexandra, the personal trainer. And Astrid, the fortune teller. So all of these have some special abilities um, that trigger in the game in some way again i don't remember exactly how they do because it's been a while since we played and this is just an unboxing and not a how to play so we want to look at the art enjoy the art for what it is and the component quality so we got some thank you bags decorative items it looks like a cake or a candle of some sort more decorations above a mantle the wreath on the door can't have a party without your party hats. You gotta celebrate with some cupcakes and a star pinata. We'll welcome everyone through the door with balloons, lanterns, and even a lamp inside. And of course, thank you bags. And there's another cake. Nice tiered. Yeah, the, the while the color's a little bit muted, it's not uh, super vibrant like some of the games we've um, opened lately it is there's still enough contrast to see all the detail and it's kind of very relaxing it's it's not going to be one of those over the top hectic style games like it kind of re helps you just kind of enjoy your time at the table playing the game uh, set back sit back relax and just uh, hang out as you're playing uh, so it looks like there's another set of all the types of cards where we've already talked about, just slightly different color. Let's see, okay, so there's two set, two of each item, uh, different, slightly different color of each. And now we got 
some, uh, or at least of those decoration items. And now we got some other items. We got some piggy banks. We have some presents. Uh, we have some different coupons from the moon to the stars. Uh, apparently, sometimes you get defects when you buy stuff. Uh, even the stores have defects occasionally. Uh, uh oh, bad reception. Can't make that phone call. Oh, someone couldn't make it to the party because they had an outdated map. Uh, DIY projects. <laughs> the ugly family heirloom. I remember. I do remember that. Um, how we would kind of force that card onto other people. And it was like, oh, we don't want that heirloom. Someone else keep it. Uh, the burst pipe. That's never fun. Another ug ugly heirloom. This time the vase. Uh, oh, you got a heart emoji. Oh, and now we got some gifts. Give someone else that cupcake. Spread that joy, you know. Uh-oh. There may have been a disaster in the kitchen. Uh, we lost and found something. Uh, did some last minute shopping because you know there's always something you forget for a party. Chelsea's stepping away, learning a game in a few minutes. Well, thanks for stopping by, Chelsea. I do appreciate it. Um, I know Fridays are busy, and just like me, I know you have multiple games you're wanting to learn uh, for both reviews and for fun. So, and I know we talked about earlier that you may try to do some unboxing videos, so feel free to reach out if you have questions or need help with the equipment, because we want to set you up for success as well. And then we got some favors. Uh, we got some mystery gift exchanges. Uh, I didn't know this was a white elephant style party. A potluck. Bring your favorite dish. Spring cleaning. And then lazy Sundays are made for gaming, right? So that's all that really came in a uh, bunny party. Uh, just a straightforward deck of cards. Each card says exactly what it does on it. it says what type of card it is and has some unique art. Has uh, some different characters, some little tokens, and of course a small box game that you can easily throw in your backpack. Um, now, granted, it is a three to four player game, so it's a little restrictive on number of players. We a lot of times look for games that have that wider range, but I do remember we had a lot of fun playing this. And if I remember correctly, it is essentially two players always win. Um, two neighbors, or two people sitting next to each other at the table will always win. So you're focusing on, do you help? Uh, the person to your left or your right more to potentially get that win. So there's a little bit of, uh, oh, I don't want you to win. I want this person to win more. Oh, I don't want to help you too much because then you're going to have the person across from me win if I'm giving too much to you. So there's an interesting balance in the way the game worked. Um, so I, I'll need to remember to look up this recipe and try, maybe make it at some point or reach out to Daniel of Board Game Feast and see if he wants to make it. We could do a, a little challenge of who makes the better looking one or something, which I'm sure he would win because he is so good at baking. But yes, that's from Evans Games. Three to f yes, thank you for the follow, Teradice. I really appreciate it. And that puts us one closer to our giveaway goal. Uh, once we hit a hundred followers, we actually have a new Kickstarter copy of Cascadia that we'll be giving away once we hit 100 followers here on Twitch. So thank you for getting us one step closer to that. So that was Bunny Party. Uh, like I said, this is a game um, Evan sent me directly right before Origins. Did not have a chance to unbox it before. Uh, but since he was on last night with us talking about the Big Pig game, decided might as well throw this in and talk about it tonight as well to really bring it full circle from the first time we got to play with him and show off this game.